cisgendered piece of shit. Oh, shit. How I dare forgot. You. I, I, that's the problem, Joe. Is for guys like us, we have so much privilege. Yep. Like we're gonna be there, like checking it in for check like it. half an hour and well, hour. Well, you, you have to. We have to even out the world. That's that what we true. have to do. The world is... must be evened out. So there's <laughs> no more competition, by the way. Which is one of the more hilarious things about people that actually think that they're communist. Like shut, the, just shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> but if, the... you, if you are, and if you really do subscribe to that, I guarantee you, you're not contributing. You're like one of those hippies that always wants <laughs> weed, and you never bring some. You know, come on, man. Let's all share. How about you bring your own weed, you fuck? <laughs> they never have it, right? And that's well, the, the communist people, the yeah. people that are really into the idea of communism. Yeah, on, on theory about yeah. everybody sharing and not worrying about money, that would be great. If there was only the three of us, <laughs> if we were the only people in the world, this is my example that I always love to use. If there was the three of us and there was like $3 million in the world and we mm -hmm. all said, well, let's all just split it up. Like, and then money won't be nothing. It's just... We'll just trade back and forth, and everything should be even. Okay, cool. And we'd be fine with that. <laughs> and then we would go on about our merry way. But there's too many fucking people, and there's inevitably going to be some form of competition. And in some form of competition, some people are going to get out ahead. And there's going to be some people that are upset that people are ahead. And there's going to be all sorts of reasons. Some people are going to be ahead because they're assholes. Some people are going to be ahead because they get up at 5 o'clock in the morning while you sleep till fucking noon. That's true, too. <laughs> These are all true. There's some people that are totally ethical, and they just do a lot of work and they right. do better yeah and they're gonna do better they didn't steal from anybody they didn't rip anybody off but this narrative keeps getting repeated by people who don't get up at seven o'clock in the morning or don't have the same kind of ambition or feel bad because some people do want a fucking private jet and fly all over the world and ball like dan bilzerian <laughs> this all these things are true i mean it's it's both things it's like you can be an ethical person and be like a super ambitious crazy person who wants to succeed mm -hmm. in business for some reason they're not mutually exclusive nope so when everybody says cap Capitalism is evil and it's the problem, man. No, no, no. You saying that is a problem. It's not a problem. The whole reason why you have a fucking laptop to complain on is because of capitalism. Right. And the point is, is that the, the lesson of 2016 is, is that there are a lot of shit ideas out there. And there are shit ideas spread all around the political spectrum. Right. Yeah. And the, I think the challenge of 2017 is how do we kill those ideas? 